Hi there, this is Physics, Chapter 1, Physical Quantities and Measurements. Lesson 6, Zero Errors in Vernier Calipers. Now, in this video, I will try to explain how we can deal with zero errors in Vernier Calipers. Well, let's first start by understanding what is a zero error. Okay, for a reading to be accurate, there should be no zero error in the instrument. But what is a zero error? Okay, now for a Vernier Caliper, even before we use it to make any measurements, when the jaws are fully closed, by right, the marking of the zero, the zero marking on the vernier scale should line up beautifully with the zero marking on the main scale. When this happens, this tells us that the vernier caliper itself has no zero error, and therefore whatever measurements we made from it will be very accurate. However, there are certain situations whereby the vernier caliper itself may have zero error, and these are likely due to wear and tear. So, there are two types of zero errors that we will need to deal with. We will look at the first one, which is a positive zero error. The positive zero error occurs when the zero, of the zero mark of the vernier scale is to the right-hand side of the zero mark on the main scale. If this happens, it suggests that there is already some reading even before we use the vernier caliper to make any measurements. So how do we know the size of the zero error? Okay, The size of zero error is similar to how we read the vernier scale. By looking at all the markings on the vernier scale, we should find one marking that meets another mark on the main scale and they line up beautifully, such as this. The third marking for this, exam for this example the third marking lines up beautifully and therefore the zero error is a positive 0 0.03 centimeters. So let's have a look at an example of how when we use this particular caliper to make measurements. Okay, So if this caliper were to show this, we know that the reading given to us is 3.17. The main scale reading is 3.1 while the vernier scale reading is 0 0.07 cm. Summing them up, we get this. So what's the actual length of the object measured? Well, we have to do some correction, isn't it? We have to use 3.17 and subtract off some error that is already present. Okay, And this error, this positive error is 0 0.03. So where, once we sub subtract this off, we will get the corrected reading for the particular example here. The other example is the negative zero error. Now, this happens when the zero marking on the vernier scale is to the left hand side of the zero marking on the main scale. This suggests that even before any measurements are made, there, there is some length missing. We can think of it as some length that is already missing from the vernier scale, from the vernier scale itself. So, how do we read the zero error? For this particular case, instead of reading from the left, we read from the right hand side. We look again for the marking that makes a beautiful line with another marking on the main scale. And instead of reading from the left, we start reading from the right. So this is the first marking, second and third marking. Since it's a third marking, this is known as a zero error of minus or negative 0 0.03 centimeters. Now for this particular example again, if the vernier caliper to show this uh, reading, we will have to read it as this. The zero mark on the vernier scale reaches this particular point. So therefore, the main scale reading is 3.10 centimeters. And how about the vernier scale reading? Now, for this particular case, we still use the same way that we have been using to find vernier reading. That is to find the marking that meets from the left hand side. And we observe that it's the first marking that meets beautifully with another mark over here. So therefore, the vernier scale reading is 0.01 cm. Summing them up, we get 3.11 cm. Okay, so what is the actual uh, length of the object being measured? Is it 3.11 cm? I'm sure you agree that we have to make up this missing length. So what we do is that we take the reading that is shown here and we add it we add to that this missing length, which is 0 0.03 centimeters. By doing that, we have the actual reading or corrected reading, which is 3.14 centimeters. 
Now let's have a look here, right? So just a quick summary. How do you deal with positive zero error? Okay, positive zero error, we actually subtract this error from the reading. How about negative zero error? For negative zero error, we will have to add this error to the reading. And please take note of this, all right? For negative zero error, to determine this error itself, we will have to look for the marking on the vernier scale from the right hand side of the vernier scale, not the left hand side. Now let's practice, okay? Now we have a vernier caliper designed in a centimeter scale. On the left hand side, this diagram shows us the positive zero error that occurs, okay? Because the zero the is positive because the zero mark on the vernier scale is to the right hand side of the zero mark on the main scale. Well, we can see that the second marking lines up beautifully. So therefore, the positive zero error should be read as 0 0.02 centimeters. So what's the reading given by this caliper itself? Okay, we can see that for this particular caliper, the zero marking on the vernier scale is at this position and therefore the main scale reading should be 1.60 centimeters. How about the vernier scale reading? We look for again a mark that meets up beautifully and we have found it here. It's a 6 marking and therefore the vernier scale reading is 0 0.06 centimeters. And that will give us the reading of 1.66 centimeters. Now, we recognize that this is not the actual length of the object being measured. We have to make some corrections to that. Since this is a positive zero error, we will have to subtract this error from the reading. So the actual length of the object measured is simply 1.64 centimeters. A little bit more practice here. Now, for this particular case, we find that the marking of the zero uh, the zero marking on the vernier scale is to the left hand side. Therefore, we recognize that this is a negative zero error. Once we recognize that it's a negative zero error, it is very important for us to remember to find the marking from the right hand side of the vernier scale. So for this particular case, we find that the first marking from the right hand side meets beautifully, uh, meets and make a uh, line beautifully over here. And therefore, the zero error is negative 0 0.01 centimeters. Now, what is the reading shown here? We find that the zero marking on the vernier scale is at this position and therefore the main scale reading is simply just 3.00 centimeters. And looking for the vernier scale reading, we can see that the third marking over here makes a nice line, a beautiful line, and therefore it is 0 0.03 centimeters. Summing up, we get a reading of 3.03 centimeters. So the corrected reading should therefore be 3.03 at, we'll have to add this zero error to this final reading. And that will give us 3.04 centimeters as the actual length of the object being measured. Right, so we will use this slide to summarize what we have learned so far about zero errors on vernier calipers. There are two zero errors. One which is a positive, positive zero error and the other one that is a negative zero error. Now for this particular example, since the zero marking on the vernier scale is to the right hand side, we recognize that this is a positive zero error. It already has some extra length even before any measurements are made. So the positive zero error over here is read as plus 0 0.01 centimeters because the first marking here meets another mark on the main scale and they form a beautiful line. For the second one, since the zero marking on the vernier scale is to the left hand side of the zero mark on the main scale, we recognize that this is a negative zero error. This suggests that even before any measurements are made, there's already some missing length. So what is this missing length? What is this zero error? Do recall that for negative zero errors, we will have to look for the marking from the right hand side of the vernier scale. So the zero mark, first mark and the second mark, we find that the second mark here lines up nicely and therefore the negative zero error is negative 0 0.02 centimeters. So with that, it brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for listening.